Hey, what's up YouTube? I hope you guys have had a good Monday. You know, usually I start my videos out flying the drone and some really cheesy royalty-free music for you guys, but I'm gonna keep it simple this Monday. Um, I'm out here on the Winter Haven chain again. Um, I love this body of water. However, I think that you know the majority of the, the upcoming videos will be on Lake Kissimmee. I definitely plan on coming back out here. I always catch a lot of fish when I'm out here. And today I caught most of my fish throwing this Zara Spook. And this is my new spook rod. I get a lot of people asking me questions about the rods and to talk about the tackle I'm using. So I wanted to take a time to talk about this spook rod because I haven't really been throwing this very often as of lately. So I got a video catching a nice one on a spook, so I just want to talk about the spook rod. This is a Nether Witch Doctor Shaman model rod. It's a uh, 783, okay? So what that means is I, I get a lot of questions about why do these, you know, these rods have all these different numbers. It's confusing. The first two numbers on these rods are how many inches these, these rods are. So 78 inches. Um, so that's a six foot, six inch rod. And then the last number is the power. Now the real confusing thing is all these different rod companies have different powers. There's no like across the board power. So this is a three power rod from Witch Doctor Tackle. A three power rod from PAL or someone else might be a different action. So this is all a uh, rain shadow blank, wind grips, Alps reel seat. He has the double little, uh, you know, the knob here for your reel seat. So you never slip and come out. Um, Fuji components. It's a beautifully made rod. Can't say enough good things about Witch Doctor. I paired up with the Shimano Sitica. To be honest with you guys, I won this reel in a Bassmaster Catch of the Week contest. Um, I mean, I wouldn't have bought it otherwise, but I gotta say, it's been an amazing reel. I could bomb this spook like a mile. Um, and it handles real well, so I put it on here, I like it. I paired up with 65 pound braid, um, and that's my spook setup, guys. Uh, let me see, maybe if you guys can see that a little better. I hope so. But that's what I use to throw my spooks. Hope you all had a good Monday. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll make it short and sweet, and we'll see you guys again on Wednesday. All right, guys, thanks for checking out these videos, and we'll see you all soon. Seems like a good one there. Oh, that's a, that is a good one. It's coming right to the boat. That's a good fish there. Oh man, that's a good one. No, oh, don't you jump. Hooked pretty good. That's a good one. Wants to jump. Don't you come up. One more time. Oh. That's a nice one. Right in the nose. Wasn't going nowhere. All right. Whew. Nice fish. Good fish. Real good one.